Hey guys, it's your boy, the tech guy, back again with another video today. I'm going to show you guys how to download PS2 emulator for your PC. So, I'll put the link in the side description for you guys. So, when you come to this page, click on the house with the latest stable version, click installer. After that, it should pop up on your right corner in your downloads. I'll save my to my database file, so I click save. So now it's wait for it to install. After this, double click on the exe, run as administrator. Now, click on I was going to show the installer mode you want. I'm going to choose normal because if you're installing it on your PC, then I think it's better to install it on your I was going normal installer. But if you're installing it on a, like a a big computer or something or a computer that's not yours i recommend a portable installer where you can install it also into like a also usb flash drive or a hard drive where you can also take it out and move it to another pc but me i'm going to install it on my pc so i'll click normal installer now click next tick all of this next so i'm going to install my C drive and click install just install the way you want to install it after this it should show a prompt click finish now it should take you here i'm going to choose english us apply and click next so this is going to store everything all of of the i was going to config first time i was going to config next after this, you guys have to go and find the BIOS. So, um, yeah, I'll put the link inside the description for you guys for the BIOS. So don't worry, but it's quite simple. Just search up PS2 BIOS and download for um for PSX2. I'm gonna go with the first one and this was updated one day ago so I scroll down so my sensitivity is too fast so when I scroll down it's too fast now I click on download um, it's gonna pop up with an ad click close the ad scroll down and I was with this installer for the I was with emulator as well also 64 bit that was an emulator but yeah so just click on that was a 64 bit download so i'll click on that it should take me to another website i scroll down go to wait for another ad deny download it should pop up up here in a bit and then now I just wait for it to download so after it finished that to make sure to open another browser and then search up winra put that inside description for you guys too so you go to winra click also double click on the website scroll down to download also double click on download winra scroll down to download winra and now just wait for five seconds and it should be able to pop up up here so i'm going to use winrar to extract the file because we need uh let's go extracting let's go application there's uh seven zip oh and there's other sort of i was go extracting applications out there but i recommend winrar they didn't sponsor me or anything but i just like uh, how the app works so after you install it or if it didn't show up here click on click here win and then it will ask you where you want to save the application i'm going to save my inside the, the download so I click save now i also double click on the file now i also double click on the exe run as administrator run install after when you come here it's quite simple make sure to tag also make sure to toggle everything 
make sure to add this to the desktop and add this to the start menu click ok click done after you do that right click extract file to the desktop because it'll make it easier for you to find it after you do that you come here go to um, go to open in explorer so it's going to open here you can just drag and drop it here like that and refresh so i did it the wrong way i was meant to say cut that come back paste it in here so after you paste it refresh it it should show up here choose what sort of BIOS you run one for your period I was going PlayStation 2 emulator. I'm just going to do US because it has more games options. But you can come back, change, and choose any sort of bio you want to run for a game. Uh, I was going specifically. After this, you click save and finish. I mean, and that's basically it. That's how you get a what's it called PlayStation 2 emulator running and it checks everything success plugin shutdown successfully and it shows your computer output requirements i'm using my laptop for this so it shows all the computer requirements of my laptop but that's basically it for downloading games i can't show you guys that because i might get copyrighted issues or let's go i was going infringement so that's basically it for this video i'll see you guys in my next video please stay safe and have a good one bye